Good morning guys, Piaggio Zip, but this is Moped Chat today. Carburettors, and mainly jet. Luckily on this little one, there's an inspection panel. On the speed bikes you don't get it, buck it out. This one, the inspection panel, you take off the air pipe, the fuel pipe, remember which is which, the oil pipe. If you can, disconnect the auto choke by a plug, do it. If not, take it halfway out and unscrew it, or find the cable. Undo a few little clips for the front and back to get the air and the inlet manifold out. And this is the carburetor. Now what are we chatting about today? Up jetting. Now I have done a video about up jetting. I've even used props to explain the whole size of the jets. These tiny, tiny little things you can't see between my fingers. But we're going to have a look at it today on this one. Once the carburetor's out, remember it's full of fuel. Full, even. So this is a flathead, which I'd rather, well, I mean, don't get me wrong, flatheads are easy to get out. They don't twist round so much as the old um, cross thread of the Phillips screwdriver ones. But anyway, here we go. Now, a little bit of fuel in here. Now, I'm keeping this fuel. I've had this carburetor apart a few times, not that you've seen this, but I have had it a few times. Now, up jetting. I speak about it quite a bit. And I've often said that you can upjet your bike and explain about the sizes and how to go around it and so on. I want to keep that fuel, so I'm going to put it there. Here's something I haven't explained before, but it's simple. More fuel requires more air, requires the exhaust gases to get out. Okay? The three things you need when upjetting. Now, most of the ones I've done, I take the link pipe of the speed fight, so it's more air. It's got a sports exhaust already, and then you can up jet, and away she goes. Happy days. So I'm talking to the guys that don't get that result. And here's why. This little carburetor's got a 68 jet. That's pretty big for 50cc. With a standard exhaust, standard air. Now, the person I got this off of, shop, they already said to me, this had a sports exhaust, and that made perfect sense. 6 jet, jet, sports exhaust, more fuel, more gases, wee, out it goes. But they changed it to a standard exhaust. So this is stifling it. Now, every time I start this bike, starts first time for me. The knack of it, okay? That's what it comes down to. But the next person hasn't got the knack. So they get in, they press the key, they turn on the button, no, even another round, turn the key on and then press the button, and they don't touch the throttle, and it stalls. I dance the throttle again and it stalls. Then I open the throttle up and it stalls and it won't start. It's flooded. Why? Too big a jet, not enough air, can't get the gases out. Flooded. I wipe the old spark plug down, quickly look at this, nothing wrong with it. Go vroom. This needs to be started and slowly accelerated at the same time. A lot of bikes are like that. And a speed fire, kick start in this time of year, lovely. The moment you try and let you start, it's flooded. So it's getting used to them. Again. I always said about upjetting, I checked the jets, fine. The other one had a sports horse, this is standard. So I'm gonna go down from a 68 jet down to this little puppy here, which is 62.5. Still bigger, but a lot less. And that should sort out the flooding problem. There's a next thing you can do, which not really spoke up much, is the needle. Around the needle, there's three little lines and you can reclip them. The lower, the more fuel. The more higher, the less. So you can move that around, okay? But that's another video and that's a bit complicated. You can lose the pin, weld a pain. But what we're going to do today is change this little jet here. Now on the bottom there, guys, I showed you before, the middle one is the main jet. The one above that, below it, here is the idle jet. And around here is the fuel. If you're going to take this off, it's in your hand. Clean it properly, guys. Watch the video, show to get it all back together. Take this out. Put it down. Remember where you put the bolts. Make sure it's clean where you put it. Take out the idle screw. Take out the air petrol mix if you can get it out. Take everything off of it. Place it nicely. Wipe it clean with a clean cotton rag. Spray your carburetor cleaner. Remember, carburetor cleaner. Not brake cleaner, not disc cleaner, not WD-40. Carburetor cleaner. They do different things for different reasons. That's why they're not called multi-purpose spray anywhere cleaner. Please take that in mind. I'm only saying that because a couple of people said to me, I've got disc cleaner, I've got WD-40, washing up liquid. You know I mean? They've all got their own set of things, guys. So use carburetor cleaner. And again, I've said about cheap and expensive ones. If it's a carb cleaner, I'm happy. It will do the job. 
So we are going to take this 6 jet, jet out and put a 62.5 jet in there. I'd have rather gone under 60, maybe 58. But beggars can't be choosers. Um, and that's all the shop had, unfortunately. I don't want to wait a couple of days to get this going. Spray all in these little bits here. Anywhere you can put the little nozzle, spray it, okay? Remember, I've said it before, put them on though. Stings like hell. Not going to kill you, but it does sting like hell when it goes in your eyes. And also, make sure the door's open, guys. You can get a little bit high. I don't suggest that at all. So, we are going to now change this jet. Put it in here, and this will run lovely. So, guys, like and subscribe. Check out the ones around the outside. There's the carb one here and a couple little bits about upjetting. But I just wanted to say this to you guys today about upjetting. Don't just whack a big fat jet in there and think your bike will run better. Unless it's got the sports exhaust on there, which have the gases out, and you can adjust the airflow in, you're just going to cause yourself a little bit of pain. And if anything, you can cause the bike to go slower. Poor pull away. You open the throttle up and goes, and you're not going to get anywhere. Then I go, oh, mate, it's your variator. And you change the variator. And you're in, you're in this little cycle now where you're never going to get it right. All because I didn't check the 68 jet. I had it in my mind that it didn't, this exhaust was really new. And it must have had a sports exhaust on there. But I didn't see that it was upjetted. And this goes right back to when I first said in my very first videos, so way, way back, a couple of years back now, that I'd rather a bike that just died and not a bike that someone's already played with. And again, the shop. Changed the exhaust, never changed this. They could get it started every time, the person couldn't. Does that the same happen to me? Because I didn't check it. This will now solve this problem. Anyway, guys, next one we're going to do is the variator. And why I keep on about the washer, and I'll give some diagrams and maybe the belt show you what I'm on about when I talk about it. Because again, I realise that I just flap on <laughs> because I've done it so many times. So when I do get asked why, I'm like, eh, I'll explain. Anyway, let's get on with this one. Really short video, guys, about upjetting. I hope that explains a lot. And this is what I said before in my videos, that don't just buy a massive jet. You come in a pack of 10 sometimes, and they go up in fours. Do that. Because it is playing with something that they purposely set differently. Sports is also brilliant. You don't have to change the airflow so much, you can do the air petrol mix. I see some people drill holes in it. Sports filter, an internal filter, I like them. More airflow in, up jet a little bit, exhaust that. Bike will definitely go faster. Unless it's been restricted in other ways. Okay, but the exhaust restriction, sometimes restriction in here, a little copper plate, take that out. And sometimes it's CDI, they're the worst ones if it's CDI. Yeah, you're not going to get them. Speed fight threes and fours, they're CDIs. Most other ones are just a simple basics. Change the rollers, do this, do that, and your bike will do no 10, 15 mile an hour more. Some 50cc's, I've had up to 55 mile an hour. I don't care what people say, they're never going to do it. I've had it. I have been on that bike when it's done it. A lot of speed fights do it as well. Some of the little bikes do 30, you change load, stay at 30, CDI. Stop babbling. Like, subscribe, guys. Look around the outside. Cheers for watching.